everyone. So, um, first of all, just ignore my hair. Just enough said. Just ignore it. <laughs> anyway, um, so since I have quite a few May favorites for this month, who's that? Um, I'm just, I'm going to do it into like separate categories of videos. So this one's going to be on hair, and then I'm going to be doing other ones. Hair, obviously, but my hair looks horrible. But, oh well. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so my first product is this Herbal Essence. It's Body Envy Volumizing Mousse. So I have it in number three, which is MAC. It looks like this. Um, this is in the scent Sunrise Citrus Fragrance. So, it smells nice. I'm so used to the smell that, like, I don't even really pay attention. Um, it foams nicely and it works really well. I wouldn't say it volumizes all that much, but just as a mousse, does a good job. I use that. But I just get, like, put a golf ball size and put it into my roots and then about the same size again and put it all over the rest of my hair. So, very good. Um, the next product I, product I have is this Garnier Leave-In Conditioner, or Conditioning Cream, whatever you want to call it. So the bottle looks like that. Um, it smells like the classic Garnier scent, obviously, because all their products smell pretty much same. Um, so this is pretty much like to fix frizzy hair. I, I find that, because my hair isn't always all that frizzy, so, but it's really good. It just makes my hair really shiny and soft and things like that. So I use this, um, I don't know how much, just like a dime size or something. Um, obviously when my hair is still wet, before the mousse, um, yeah, I like it. Oh, and just all over my hair, that's what I was going to say. Um, for tools, I like to use these two combs. <laughs> these three. So, um, after I get out of the shower and everything, I blow dry my hair with um, my Conair blow dryer. I don't have it with me to show you guys right now. It's in my bathroom. But, um, yeah, I like that. Um, this is this. Um, it just says Ace. It's for medium to thick hair, even though I have fine hair. I realized when I got home I got the wrong kind, but whatever. Um, I may, I use this to make my part. Usually, I haven't been using it too much, but it's handy to have around because I just like finger style it kind of. Then this wide tooth comb. I know it's like 80s. You can't really see it, but anyway, just one of these big wide tooth combs. Um, I use this like crazy um when my hair is all obviously also still wet um to kind of comb through my hair it gets out knots awesomely without ruining or ripping my hair and then this when my hair is dry it is oh it's from goody uh, it's the plasminium gel so it has like the jelly handle and it's green and it just works really well you can get those kind of brushes anywhere and then I have oh, my shampoo and conditioner. So before this, I was kind of experimenting with what I liked. I tried Tresemme, Garnier, Herbal Essences. Um, out of all those, I liked Herbal Essences the best um, until I tried this combination of products. So normally, glossy products aren't something I use. I just It's one of those that I never really use too much. Um, I don't use head and shoulders really either, and there's a few others I can't really remember. So, um, but they were on sale, and I was, like, I tried everything on the freaking shelf, so I decided, you know what, why don't I just try them? So, um, because usually they say that Aussies for, like, really frizzy hair and everything, and I don't have that frizzy of hair, so I thought, like, maybe it just won't do much for me, but it did. Oh, my God. So, um, I got a combination of two. I didn't get, like, the same kind of thing. So, for shampoo, I have Sun Touched Shine Shampoo, Clean Cell Hair to Reveal Great Shine. So, it looks like this. I love the color of the bottles. They're, like, great purple. Anyway, um, it smells like oranges, like completely orange, 
Um, and this cleans my hair really, really well. I love it. My hair feels so clean afterwards. And, yeah, really nice. And works up a great lather, too. I hate thick shampoos that don't, like, lather and bubble really well. Because then I don't feel like they're really cleaning my hair. Um, but the one I like most is this one. This is the Sydney Smooth. Here we go again with frizzy situations. Um, some soothing conditioners for frizzy situations. Um, like I said, I don't have frizzy hair very much, but I love this. OMG. So anyway, it looks the same as the other one, but it has a white top in it. Purple also. Oops. So, um, yeah, when I first put this on my hair, I hated it. Like, in the shower, the smell is just, like, clean. Kind of candy. I don't know what it smells like. Um, candy. What? Anyway, um, anyway, when I first put this on my hair, like, in the shower, when my hair was wet, I hated the feel of it. Like, it felt like my hair wasn't soaking it up. Um, and it felt just almost like it was, I was putting, like, a plastic film over my hair. And I hated that. I hated it so much. I was like, you know what, this will be the first and last time I ever use this conditioner. And then I rinsed it out, and even in the shower, and obviously out of the shower, my hair felt so soft. It looked so smooth, and, like, it was shiny and gorgeous. I love it. So, these two products together, mostly this one, but this one's really nice, too. Um... This one make my hair shiny also. Um, yeah, love them. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's actually all I have for hair. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my hair favorites of the month of May. And stay tuned for throughout the day, week, soon, um, for my other favorite little category thing with chickens. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Bye.